All right, for the final video in this series, let's learn how to customize the Material UI theme. By default, MUI has a theme that is used by every component we include in our application. If you go to the docs and click on customization and then default theme, expand all, you can see the various styles that we've been using all along. The breakpoints, so access to Excel, the corresponding values, the color palette, so primary, secondary, etc. Shadows, typography, and finally, Z index. Although this is a great default, you might want to customize the theme according to your application's brand. The most common requirement being customizing the palette. In this video, let's learn how to do that. To create a theme, we need to import the create theme function from MUI. So in app.tsx, at the top, import create theme from at MUI slash material. Next, just before the app component, call the function and assign it to a constant. Const theme is equal to create theme. The function accepts an object as its argument. The object structure should match the theme object structure which is similar to the default theme we have just had a look at. So we can specify palette, which is an object with a property secondary, which once again is an object with a property main. And this has to be a color value. Now, if you go back to the docs and click on color in the side nav, you can see the different colors that MUI provides out of the box. Let's make use of a shade of orange for our example. At the top, import colors from material UI. Now, secondary.main, we set it equal to colors.orange of 500. This is just a shade of orange. Next, in the component we created in the previous video, I'm going to change the background color to secondary.main. If we now head back to the browser, we see the secondary purple color from the default theme and not orange. This is because our custom theme is not provided to our component. To provide the theme, we need to import the theme provider from Material UI. So import it at the top and wrap the entire component tree with it. On this component, we pass in a prop called theme equal to the theme object we have just created. This is nothing but our custom theme. Now what happens is create theme function merges our object with the default theme and provides it to all the underlying components. If we take a look at the browser, we now have an orange colored box. And what is great is that secondary.light and secondary.dark are automatically created based on this main color. So back in VS Code, specify secondary.light and we see a lighter orange. Specify secondary.dark and we see a darker orange. This is how you overwrite a color from the palette. 
Now, another common requirement is to add new properties both at the theme level and at the palette level. Let's see how to do that. In the theme object we have passed in at the top level, I'm going to add status, which is going to be an object with a property called danger set to a hex value. When I do this, TypeScript throws an error. Status does not exist in type theme options. To fix this, we're going to use what is called module augmentation in TypeScript. In the source folder, create a file called theme.d.ts. Here, import theme options from MUI slash material slash styles. Next, we declare a module. So declare module at MUI slash material slash styles curly braces. We write an interface theme options and we're going to augment our status which contains danger of type react.css properties. To be more precise, the color CSS property. When we do this, our error is automatically fixed. TypeScript now knows the theme object can contain a status property. Let's use this value in a component. Now to use this value, I'm going to use the styled system sort of an approach to creating components. In MUI responsive.tsx, at the top, import styled from material UI. Next, create a styled box component. So const styled box is equal to the styled function. We pass in box as an argument and then parentheses again. Within parentheses, we specify an arrow function. We are going to destructure the theme object and we are going to return a set of properties. Height 250 pixels, width 250 pixels and background color theme dot status dot danger. When we do this though, TypeScript once again throws an error. Property status does not exist on type theme. To fix this, we need to go back and update another interface. So in theme dot d dot ts, above the theme options, add interface theme Status is an object which can contain danger and this is going to be a string. Now if we go back, the error is fixed. Wrap the JSX with React Fragment, invoke the styled box component and take a look at the browser. You can see a red colored box as expected. What we have added is a simple color, but you can add any property you wish to. Next, let's see how to add a color within the palette. In the custom theme object, below secondary, add a new property called neutral. Specify an object and a property called main. To this, we are going to assign colors.gray of 500. Once again, TypeScript throws an error. To fix this, back in theme.d.ts, add interface palette options and we specify neutral which is optional and this is of type palette color options. However, this will only help with the create theme function. If we try to use it in our styled component, so theme.palette 
dot neutral dot main we get the TypeScript error. To resolve this above palette options add interface palette neutral of type palette color. This once again is optional. If we head back to MUI responsive .tsx, the error is fixed. Head back to the browser and we see the gray color. Finally, let's see how to add a new color within a palette color. By default, you can specify main, light, dark, and contrast text as properties. Let's say we need to add a darker property. So below neutral.main, we specify darker as a property. And this is going to be colors.gray of 700. To handle this new addition, in theme.d.ts, specify interface simple palette color options with the property darker optional of type string. In our styled component, change the background color to theme.palette.neutral.darker. This again should be throwing an error. So back in theme.d.ts, add interface palette color darker of type string. This should now give us autocomplete. Back in the browser, we see a darker gray box being displayed. Now you might ask me, how do we figure out these different interfaces? Well, for that, I would point you to the documentation. Under customization and default theme, at the very bottom, there is a link to see how create theme function is written. Click on that link and navigate one folder up to the styles folder. Scroll down and navigate to create palette.d.ts. Here you can see all the interfaces related to the palette object. Use this to create your own custom theme like the way we've just learned how. But this is pretty much how to customize theme in Material UI. With that, we come to the end of the series on Material UI. Hopefully, you've got an insight into how some of the components work and the different props that can be applied. MUI has a great set of components to accelerate the development of any React project you're working on. And it is another check mark for me in making this channel a one-stop shop for React and its ecosystem. I sincerely hope you've enjoyed the videos. And if you did, please do leave a like and subscribe to the channel. As always, Thank you for watching and until next time, take care.